question we've been asking for quite some time now is when President Trump may turn his attention more firmly to Europe when it comes to trade. And now it's emerged that the U.S. is considering tariffs on $11 billion worth of EU products ranging from aircraft parts to wine. Now this move comes as the Trump administration looks to retaliate against EU subsidies for Airbus, which the World Trade Organization ruled had adverse effects on America. Now this marks just the latest turn in a case that's been going on for 14 years, you may be familiar. Now, as you just alluded there, U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer has weighed in. He said he hopes to reach an agreement with the EU, but added, quote, the time has come for action. Now, in terms of the Airbus side of things, Airbus has told CNBC that they think this is totally unjustified. They say they've taken all necessary measures to comply with the elements highlighted by the WTO, and they've commented further that Boeing, by contrast, has not shown any willingness to comply with WTO's findings with regards to their subsidies. Now, the European Union is preparing for possible retaliation at this stage, and the European Commission over here has said that the level of proposed U.S. countermeasures was greatly exaggerated. That's according to Reuters. Now, as I said, this has been going on for about 14 years, but this marks a distinct ex escalation in tensions between the U.S. and the European Union. I want to give you a quick look at how Airbus, as well as the broader aerospace and defense sectors, are trading on the back of this news. Airbus down about 1.44 percent. Tales down as well, 1.44 percent. So overall, we are seeing a pullback in aerospace and defense. Uh, and we'll have to wait and see whether this is just the beginning of further escalation and tensions between the U.S. and the EU.